What is up everyone? Kamusta? First of all, thank you for joining me again in this video. Today in this second part of my Grey Fox build, I will be showing you all how I fixed some of the surface blemishes that became apparent after spraying everything down with surfacer. And then I'll show you how I painted this Grey Fox inspired custom. So let's get right into it. I sanded around those tiny gaps and filled those mini skill holes with some CA glue. After allowing the CA glue to completely cure, I sanded them down until the surface was smooth and flat. I then hit those areas again with a coat of primer and we can see if we were successful with removing those gaps or not. At this stage, I was satisfied and eager to finally lay down some colors. This time, I did not paint them as a whole, rather, individually, in order to paint every nook, especially around joints. I began with some metallic colors that will be masked later on. I appreciated parts that would be painted with copper with some German gray for painting on the said copper paint. Whereas for parts that will be in a frame, I sprayed some gloss black over them initially before proceeding with painting Hobby Mio metal detail color on the pipes behind the knees, the pipes on the shoulders, the circular detail on the shoulder, and also the backpack thruster. After masking a few of those pieces, I sprayed dull iron on them to complete those inner frame portions. Now for the most abundant color of the build, the blue color. I proceeded by appreciating all the parts with purple, which is a first for me. In hindsight, I should have added more gray to the purple to tone down the saturation, but it still looked good, which you will see later on, so I will have to try that on a future build. I painted the blue over the white pieces slightly to make sure I don't lose the pre-shading I did. I sprayed two thin layers of blue over the pieces. The shading is subtle but still there, although I felt it needed more, so I chose to add some highlights by mixing some white with the blue in addition to very small amounts of green and yellow. I do not have an accurate ratio of the colors I used because I just eyeballed it until I got the color I felt was light enough to be a highlight while not being too different in hue that the contrast looks unnatural. Afterwards, I masked and painted a couple of pieces that needed more copper. With the hands, I opted to use Mr. Masking Sol R because it will be faster. The solution is water-based and that is wonderful because any excess and you can grab a paintbrush wet with water and just remove the excess for a clean line. When the mask had dried, I first resprayed a gray color over the digits before spraying copper. Just after the paint had dried enough, I removed the mask by gently teasing and scraping the surface until I could hold on to it with my tweezers. This was very satisfying, like putting PVA glue on your hand as a kid and then gently peeling it off. You know what I mean. But I digress. The masking reveals very good color separation, although a few touch-ups were needed. I painted the recessed circular details I added on the head with flame red and masked it after drying. The white parts I appreciated with blue-gray. and finish them with two grays, neutral gray 1 and neutral gray 2, to achieve a subtle two-tone effect. The 
With the katana, I first sprayed the length of the blade with gloss black and followed it up with a mix of mithril and dull steel. The hilt for the katana and the beam sabers were finished with German grey mixed with neutral grey 4 on the middle part of the handle and German grey on the ends. Unmasking everything shows that taking the time to mask is really worth it in the end. Color separation is wonderful especially if you wish to use multiple tones on a color to get more brilliance to your color scheme. I did some partial assembly of parts to save on top coat. I sprayed everything with a gloss top coat to seal everything before the next steps. panel lining and decals. I used light gray panel liner for the white parts and black for the copper and blue. With this build, I applied generic caution decals I had bought a while back. White and orange set for the blue parts, red and gray for the white parts. I only used very little, just enough to give little accents to a few areas. For the final piece of the build, with a spare tab from a beam saber runner I kept, I cut out a small piece of circular eye that I painted with fluorescent clear red and glued in between the eyes. I did a final coat of super smooth clear flat to seal everything. Let it cure. And now, we are ready for final assembly. And that is it for this build video. I feel like I didn't do a good amount of customizations, but at the same time, it still feels like I did. I guess the small things add up really quick. Anyway, if you've continued watching this far, thank you for your time. I feel the need to do an MG next. Maybe the MG Eclipse Clear Color. If you have any suggestions or any kit you would like to see me customize in the future, let me know in the comments below. If you liked this video, it would help this channel if you hit that like button and subscribe. Maybe tell a friend too. And as always, have a good day, thank you, and see you all on the next build.